and welcome back to MLT World. Today, friends, in this video, I will share you that how to make dilution, and one of the most common dilution that we will use in our routine that is one is to twenty dilution for WBC making dilution, sperm count dilution, or if any value is coming very high and you have to decrease the sample quantity, or if your sample have uh, or if your sample quantity is little, that time you need to dilute. so one is 20 one is to 20 dilution is uh, like most common dilution for making one is to 20 dilution it means you need one part of serum or whole blood and 19 parts of reagent or distilled water as in our laboratory mostly these two things are needed so i will explain you by giving example if for example if we have the serum 10 microliter now you focus on the unit also and the amount also that amount and unit both we will multiply with one part of serum and one 19 parts of reagent and distilled water so if 10 microliter need serum it means one part multiply by 10 equals to 10 microliter and 19 part of reagent means 19 multiply by 10 microliter it will come 190 microliter so we will take 10 microliter serum and we will take 190 microliter reagent but our result we will multiply with 20 now in second example for example if our serum quantity is little more than it is 20 microliter then how much dilution same one part we will be multiply by 20 and 19 parts also will be multiply by 20 microliter now you focus same now our sample will be how much 1 multiply by 20 and our reagent how much it will be 19 multiply by 20 and microliter microliter so it will be 20 microliter serum we need and 380 microliter we need reagent or distilled water whatever the solution we need, need to we are using to dilute the sample so now you understand now here two points are very important in this dilution method first of all the unit that uh, you have to keep the same unit for sample also and for reagent also either it is microliter or ml so that your pipetting should be correct pipetting so 20 microliter if we took serum then 20 microliter will be multiply by with the reagent part also and second point is that whatever we will use the dilution our at the end our result will be multiply with the 20 that is the factor so whatever result will come for the test that result we will dial multiply with 20 and then we will get the final result so in this quick video i hope you understand how to make one is to 20 dilution